Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hey yo yo yo, what's up? It's your boy TUSK O to the D. Matiba Tote, you guys already know. Back with you with another one, Bafetu. Now, Bafetu, Casper in your vest is seemingly somebody that doesn't think like the rest of us mortal human beings. He seems to be the type of person that just has his own mind. Maybe that's why he's getting all these deals and getting so much success. Because, you know, he doesn't think like the rest of us. He's actually come out to actually tell South Africa that the song Tito Mboweni, the song that he's been telling us is a smash hit, is so dope. He's saying that, listen, that song is the worst song on the album and he's so happy that he actually got rid of it before, you know, he dropped the album. He actually came out, you know, saying, um, responding to a fan, he said, yep. Every day, I'm so glad I chose to drop it as the first single because it's actually the weakest song on the album. And it says the album is fire. Now, Afetu, you know that I actually came out and asked you guys whether, you know, what you, what Casper is saying. Do you guys think that it's telling the truth or is a, it's a marketing strategy? Well, Casper, I don't know how he found my tweet. He actually came back and hit me back on some, listen, he said, trust me, this is my best album. Now, Wafet, as you hear what Casper Nivest is saying, Wafet, he is promising us that, you know, the song Tito Mboweni is the weakest song on the album. His album is going to be fire. And, you know, he's actually confirming what I've been telling you guys on the channel over and over. I remember you guys have been telling you, Tito Mboweni for me is not the type of song that you would release as a lead single to say your album is the greatest album of all time. And he's actually confirming that by coming out and saying this is not the best song on the album. And I'm inclined to actually believe him. Because, you know, a lot of people that actually call, caught the live feed when he was playing the songs in his car, the songs from the album in his car, actually spoke about the fact that they think that Touch the Sky was actually one of the songs that he should have released as lead singles. And there were so many better songs than Tito Mboweni to drop, rather than him just dropping Tito Mboweni. But clearly, Casper Nuvis doesn't follow the rules. But at the same time, I will say that, you know, he's also using this, you know, to market the album. It's, you know, it's rap, it's hip-hop, it's competition. This is what people do. You know, Caps, but like I always say, he's a marketing genius. He is using the situation to market the album, to actually say, you know what, there are better songs than Tito Mboweni on the album, so that we all run and go get the album. But either way, Bafetu, we, you know, wait to hear what's going to happen on the 7th of May. I want you guys to leave me a comment in the comment section. Do you guys actually think that Casper is telling the truth that, you know, Tito Mboweni is the worst song on the album and, you know, it's not, you know, he was just releasing it to actually get rid of it so that he can let the other, uh, you know, songs on the album shine? Or do you guys actually think that, you know what, um, Casper Nuvest is just using this as a marketing strategy. When the album drops, we're going to have the same old Casper Nuvest. By the way, I think he was very confident to actually hit back and say this is his best album. We wait till I hear that on the 7th of May. I'm going to make sure that I go cop it. You guys should also make sure you do the same. Leave a comment in the comment section. Definitely subscribe. Awesome. Now wait, 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 wait. Emma Billy, I know you want to go, but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name, man. Awesome.